Hey fellow theatre builders, I thought I'd do a little video and some progress to show you guys. I haven't done a video before, but uh, I figured I'd take a little walk around, just in the bar side of the build. And you guys, if you've been following the thread, then you've seen all of that come together. And we got our movie poster sign over there ready to go up on the wall. And then off to the side of the bar, that's where we're building the full floating room. Uh, within this outdoor structure. Well, not really outdoor structure, but it was more of a sunroom off the back of my house. Uh, so we went ahead and built a full floating platform. You come down here, you can see that we've got it on the U-boats. Then we've got the 2 by 4s with the R13 in between them, 16 on center throughout. Then we've got interlocking OSB, 30-pound uh, roofing felt, and then more OSB on the top for the floor. Um, looking around at the frame, we've done 16 on center. Obviously, I had to do a lot of bracing with this frame because it doesn't attach to the house anywhere. Uh, if you look up in the corner here, you can see that the entire thing is air-gapped about an inch away from the house all the way around. And I come down to this side, and you can see you know, even there we're gapped as tight as we possibly can without touching anything. So, pretty happy with uh, the way that structure worked out. And let's just walk through here a little bit. On this side, I've got the little cubby that is going to be sort of a little snack bar. So you're going to walk through here, and then the snack bar is going to be in this area. Um, the, one of the subwoofers is going to be in the, in the bottom of the snack bar base here, so it's going to tuck under there. Uh, and then round here, this is the main stage and screen area. So that's um, 12 feet wide, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that main brace across the top is a 12 foot run. Uh, so that's 12 feet wide. And the stage and the screen uh, will obviously go in this space. I'm planning to go approximately 130 inches um, Diagonal for a full cinemascope. Uh, one, two, three, five screen. Um, then we've got the AC coming in from the bottom. Uh, my house is pretty old, so it's been retrofitted with AC. So unfortunately, uh, I don't have any AC that comes in from the top of the house. Everything comes from underneath because the house is built on a hill. But we did get lucky and we managed to sort of uh, cave our way down uh, through the outside wall of the house and into the room under the house where all the ducting and the blower and everything else is uh, contained. So uh, I can tap into the ducting under there and I can get cold air into the room. So that cold air will come through the base um, of the, the stage when it's built in. Uh, and then looking up above us, above the stage here, uh, I've got an exhaust fan, a really quiet bathroom exhaust, and I've got two sets of ducting. Uh, one of the ducting runs goes all the way through the top of the ceiling and then down into the uh, projector housing. Uh, you'll see that this is actually set back behind the main wall um, because I had this kind of funky ledge back here. Um, and then I had a step down here as well. So I was losing approximately 14 inches because of the way the floor was set up. So what I decided to do was just come straight up with the wall, but then when it came to the projector, we made the most of those uh, 14 inches. And as you can see back there, again, we're air-gapped about an inch. But that allowed me to push that projector back those extra 14 inches and get uh, the extra throw I need across there, because every inch is going to count in this space if I want to get up to that 130 inches. Um, so yeah, there's the exhaust ducting. It's going to pull up through uh, the projector space, obviously pull the heat off the projector. Um, and then I've got my um, conduit, two-inch conduit, coming through with uh, the pull cord for the HDMI and Ethernet cables. And that conduit runs the entire length of the ceiling, all the way down uh, onto the other side of the screen. And same type of approach, we're going to walk in. Uh, through this area and then turn and the AV closet will be in here uh, So you can see I've already run uh, all the speaker cable down into this closet and then we've got our exhaust and our, uh, our HDMI Ethernet uh, conduit run coming in here uh, As you can see we're setting up the electrical 
I got exhaust fans that are going to be triggered from that switch and then we have our dedicated circuits um, breaker box coming into to this side too uh, so that's about it uh, for now the next stage is to get the putty on the back of all of these outlets um, a lot of them obviously uh, are, are just regular electrical outlets but we do have some um, sconce lights that are going to be either side of the screen so one here one over there and then one right there and one right there so at least when you walk in the door you can just uh, flick the switch which is all the way over there and have some immediate lighting in the room. The rest of the lighting in the room is all going to be LED. It's all going to be controlled um, through an app, a programmable uh, type of setup. Um, so yeah, once I've done all the putty on the back of the boxes, then it's time to move on and put the R13 insulation in, get it in between all of these joists and get this place nicely sealed and padded up and, uh, and ready for drywall. Um, which seems like it's taking forever to get to, but of course getting all this prep work done first is the most important. Uh, the room's going to be wired for a total of 21 speakers. Um, I've got uh, six sets of side heights. So front, center, rear on the right, front, center, rear on the left. Um, and then right up above us, we've got our Voice of God speaker for Aura 3D, and then right here, this little fella right there, that is the front high center for Aura 3D. Now, obviously I um, don't have a processor that can handle all of those all at the same time, but I feel it was worth just wiring everything in um, and, and getting the speakers in there uh, for some time in the future. Obviously a lot easier to do it now. Uh, also, I have wired for um, wide, uh, wide left and right as well. Um, so if I do find myself at a point where I'm going for a nine point XX configuration, then that's all in. And then we've got wiring uh, in the back corners for two subwoofers. And then of course we've got our um, surround sides, surround backs, so uh, I know add that all up, I think it comes to 21. Okay, so that's where I'm up to. Thanks for checking this out. And uh, for more updates, just keep watching the thread. And hopefully this thing will get finished one day.